Dean on the street here at the classic legendary Setauket U.S. Post Office here, right by the Mill Pond. If you haven't been here, you got to pass by and see it. It's a pretty cool post office. Yeah, it's a but back area. with Howard, and before Howard, before we depart, leave each other. I want to hear from Howard. Two classic celebrity stories. You know, being in D.C. like New York, we get a lot of people come through the TV station. Bob Schieffer, retired now from CBS News. Bob Schieffer. Stops by on the 40th anniversary of the Kennedy assassination. So this would have been November 23rd, 2003. So now it's 15 years ago, coming up. So I get introduced to him and he's like, uh, my news director's like, hey, meet Bob. Bob's like, oh, I watch you on TV. And I'm thinking, wow, Schieffer watches me on TV? How cool is that? So I go, hey, I watch you on TV. What a coincidence. So we start talking. I'm going into the studio anyway, so I take him. And I, I, we just start talking about back then how bad the CBS morning show had been for so many years. And I, I say, you know, it makes you miss that. Long for the days of Marriott Hartley and Roland Smith. And the old timers know. Roland Smith. Roland anchored CBS back in the 70s with Jim Jensen on Channel 2, right? Anyway, so then he went over to Network. And Schieffer goes, do you know who their newsreader was? It was me. I'm like, <laughs> of all the old teams I could pick, right? Ding, ding, Bob ding, ding. Schieffer. And I go, well, was that Roland with or without the mustache? So then Schieffer goes, oh, I got a mustache story to tell you on that. Really? He goes, so he's in West 57th. You know, that's where CBS uh, News is located, West 57th Street. And Schieffer's walking in the hall. Roland's walking along. So he goes, hey, I like the new look, Roland. So Bob goes, he, he, grabs my, he grabs my arm. For the next 20 minutes, he's telling me about how it's changed his life. Wow. Then he goes, I don't give an F about his mustache. I'm just trying to make small talk. <laughs> So she was dropping f bombs, and I'm looking around. No witnesses. There were no witnesses, but you know, to my grave, I will swear, she for dropped f bombs with me. He dropped it. Yeah, and talk about a guy who's just really himself. Bob Schieffer, a real true guy. The other story, Dwayne Hickman, who was the star of Dobie Gillis. So this is about 15 years ago too. He's doing an art show in Baltimore, so he stops in to tell us about his art, and I tell him I I loved your show. I didn't see it originally, but I saw it on Nick at Night. Great show, ahead of its time. You might remember uh, John uh, uh, Bob Denver before Gilligan's Island was on that show. Warren Beatty, Tuesday Wealth, they wow. were on that show. So I'm telling them what a great show you have, but I have a question. All of a sudden, you showed up with bleach blonde here. So Hickman, he rolls his eyes. He's like, oh, he's so exasperated. This is like 40 years after the fact. And he goes, the network made me do it. They thought I'd be more hip with the kids. And boy, he was, he was still pissed about it. Not at me, but he was still pissed at the network made them bleach us here back then because they thought it would matter. Hey, so. listen, classic. And a lot more stories to tell, but I know you're on your way back to yeah. D.C., but uh, you're going to come back again. Oh, yeah. We'll be okay. Back. Why would I not come back to this beautiful place? Howard Bernstein. Until next time, catch you on the street. <laughs>